Hey old goats. Hey, I'm back in the basement again today and we are going to hit this wall behind me. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and frame that one out. Um, or stud it or whatever it's called. I'm not a carpenter. Anyway, uh, last video I did, I uh, went ahead and took some time to fix the uh, framing nailer. And I figured I might want to show you that. Ah. It kept, uh, oh, you know, misfiring or whatever, or not firing at all. And I, I took time to read the instructions, and the instructions really didn't help me much with what the problem was. But the problem was this little thing right here. We'll, we'll put that up a little closer. Uh, it was too far. It was too far out. So, you know, you just turn it. All I did was, you know, put it all the way in. And then towards the end of the last video, you can see I just, just pop, 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 and done. So, with that thing adjusted, we should have no problem firing this thing this time. Because we certainly didn't at the end of the last video. So, we're kind of excited about that. We're happy about that. Uh, I don't know if y'all know this. I'm a little bit happier now, so. We'll just throw that out there. Uh, we'll explain that at some point. But for now, we're not going to. Out of respect for some people. Uh, but we will explain that at some point. Why, why we're a little bit happier. So anyway, we'll get to it. goats well again it's not perfect I'm not a carpenter but I'm not too far off I'm not I mean if I was a professional carpenter that'd be like really far off but with my skill level that's not that bad uh, looks like I got the top plate over there a little a little bit off of where it should have been but I can see you know when I put the second piece on the top plate where I'm this side of it so well I just have to adjust uh, as long as these are straight and 
somewhat flush and level with each other or plumb and everything else, that's, that top plate really shouldn't matter because that top plate is going to be where my ceiling is. So I'm not really worried. I mean, is it perfect? No. Is it good enough for me? Yup. And that's the point, you know, when you're doing DIY stuff, do it yourself, you're going to notice all the mistakes. If a professional comes in here and does it, you're not going to notice the mistakes because you're not going to see them. You're going to see a finished product and that's, you know, that's good enough. And they'll fix most of their mistakes in the finished product. They won't finish it. Oh, whoops, I messed up right here. Let me tear this out and redo it. Now, most of the time they're gonna be like, eh, it's just a little bit off, I ain't worried about it. And then you'll never see it because it'll be enclosed in the wall and you'll never know. That's, that's the difference between a DIYer and a professional. A DIYer, you're gonna see the mistakes. A professional, there's still gonna be mistakes, you're just not gonna see them. So, it is what it is, guys. Uh, I got one wall left, and I am planning on maybe doing my soffiting next. Or my soffits next. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing, or if I'm gonna do that yet or not. Because I'm not sure which side I want my beams, or my extra pieces to be on. And I don't know if I have enough pieces for it. So I might have to do the other wall just to, just to get enough pieces for it. Because I'm using my scrap to help build my soffit. Because I'm cheap. And well, it just makes sense. I mean, the scrap is the width or the length I need. So why not use it? Anyway, we'll catch back up with you guys later. Bye.